Hey there, friends. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and we're all wearing blue to raise awareness because on Fridays we wear blue. Yes, yes, we, do. That we, right, do. yes we, we do. do. <laughs> yes, we do. We wear blue to raise awareness. But coming up on May 4th is uh, the, and here was all the details about the event uh, coming up on May 4th is Laura Farmer, the Executive Director of CASA of Southwest Missouri, Peyton Stringer, Lift Up a Child Committee Chair uh, member, and owner of Royal Barbell, which sounds amazing and hard. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. I can't wait to hear all about <laughs> that. You. And Mel Shrimplin, also a Lift Up a Child Committee member. So, Laura, first of all, thank yes. you for being here. Well, thank you for having us. We love having you in. Yes. Uh, love CASA and everything that you do. Thank so, you. So, first of all, just give our viewers an overview yes. of CASA and then what's coming at May 4th. Yes. So, CASA is court-appointed special advocates, and we recruit community volunteers to serve children in foster care. So, one CASA volunteer serves one child or one sibling group that's in foster care. That volunteer will visit them at least twice a month. Really get in there, mentor them, be a positive encourager in their life, but then gather information so that they can come back to the court system to advocate for whatever that child might need while they're in foster care. Oh, so important. I love that. Yeah. Okay, and then the May 4th event. Yes. May the 4th be with all of us. That's right. That's, That's right. That's right. Lots of fun things happening, lots of working out, lots of activities. Would you like to talk yes. about that? Yeah, so it's Lift Up a Child is the name of the event. This is our eighth year, so eighth annual, so, right? Congratulations. Yeah, we've, crazy, we have yeah. partnered with CASA uh, for, for this event for those eight consecutive years. And uh, what we do is we have basically four or five workouts for the day. You have a team of two, and you and your uh, team compete. And we have a podium. You have three people or three teams that win, and it's all for the kids. So yeah. we donate all the money to mm -hmm. CASA um, yeah. that's raised. and. Uh, it's a great, it's awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, that's so. one of the really beautiful things about, I think, this event and kind of what drew, drew me to it was 100% of the, the proceeds go right back to CASA. And that's just not something you see very often. And, I mean, what a cause. So, yeah. 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 Well, and I asked before the camera started rolling, you know, what is your fitness of choice? We had CrossFit. Yeah. We had some weightlifting. Yeah. Um, so what kind of exercises can we can people expect? <laughs> yeah, so we, there, you're right. There's a mix. So you're going to do some CrossFit. You're going to do some mm -hmm. barbell. You're yeah. going to run. Maybe tire flips, mm -hmm. some kettlebell stuff. Um, we've done all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a really unique event that we incorporate so many different things. So. Okay. so I'm curious then, how long does it take? Like, is it a, a 30 minute routine? Is it, I called it a routine, a yeah. workout. An <laughs> hour? Five, like, six, how seven, long eight. do you have to, to be physically exerting yourself? Yeah, so most of our events run somewhere between, that's my son actually right there. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh, Such my a son cutie. right there, he's the best. Um, so most of the events are 10, 12, 9 minutes, and they will do three or four across the day. Mm -hmm. So they'll do a little bit of workout, rest, and then so the winners, per se, are the people that do the best across the day. Oh, oh like okay. timing? timing. Yeah. Uh, there's lots of different yeah, ways that we judge or score the events, um, just lots of different movements paired together. That's the beautiful thing of what we do is... And the test of fitness is that we can mix and match and put things together and really figure out who is quote unquote the fittest. Oh, oh gosh. And it's not too late to register, right? You can still register. Oh, absolutely not. Sponsor. No. Yeah. You, sponsor. Yeah, you still can. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. we, you can register if you go to the CASA website. It's uh -huh. CASA, S W M O dot org. M O dot org. Uh -huh. yeah. there you I'm go. sorry. She knows better than I do. But uh, <laughs> yeah, our, if you go to the events uh, tab there, you can see the Lift Up a Child. You can mm -hmm. join a team. You can mm -hmm. register. You can sponsor all the good stuff. Get all the information. Look at the businesses that are sponsoring. Um, there's some great ones. So check yeah. them out and get, support them. I mean, they're, they're yeah. showing the local community that they care and, and we want to raise awareness. Everybody yeah. does. So yeah. that's Absolutely. our goal. Child abuse is here yeah. and it's yeah. uh, it's local and people need to know about it. And that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. What would you say is your favorite part of the partnership over the past you know eight years? I think just seeing the CrossFit community come together to support CASA and our children in foster care. I often say that our kids in foster care sometimes don't feel seen or heard in our community. Yeah. And this is a great way to show them that people see them, they, our community cares about them. And uh, it's a really inspiring event to be a part of to see just how strong people can be because we know that foster care is tough mm -hmm. and we need to be an inspiration to these kids. So one time we had a girl in foster care who was about 12 years old. She <laughs> came to favorite. the event and she's watching these really strong women lift these really heavy weights and she's just getting so inspired and she's like, I wanna be strong like these ladies. Oh. And you know, our message back to her is, 
you are already strong. Mm -hmm. You know, you've been through unimaginable things. And so it's amazing to just see how that goes back and forth between the CrossFit community and our kids in foster care. Laura, why is it every time I see you, you make me cry? I know. <laughs> every time we do an event <laughs> together, too. you tell me the stories, and I'm just too. like, it melts my heart because you have to see and deal with so much. I don't know how you and your team yeah. do what you do. Who's ideal people to participate in this event? Who, who are you asking to well, come? Really, I yeah. mean, you anybody. could be yeah, anybody. anybody. So, a beginner. Mm -hmm. I, anybody yeah. could do it. I mean, as long as you, I recommend having a little bit of fitness background. Mm -hmm. Like, at least go to the gym a couple times a week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We can all do that. And I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> we can all do that, right? So, but no, you don't have to be a fitness, you know, a, a master at this. Right. Mm -hmm. This is for a charity event. So, mm -hmm. I mean, anybody can come. We encourage everyone. If you're thinking about it, find someone and join. join. I mean, you can yeah. do the workouts. We, yeah. We'll figure out a way and to do it. And Mel actually so. competed in yeah. this event yeah. several times before she joined the committee. Yeah, oh. yeah. I, I love this event. It's It's been one that's been just near and dear to my heart. Uh, my son, who you guys showed on there earlier, is actually, both my kids are adopted through foster care. And so oh, it's one that once I found it, I was like, absolutely, I want to be involved in this. And so I, I was a competitor for several, several years and then got to know these guys and yeah. got to really get involved and have continued to grow in my fitness journey and so I decided to kind of jump to the other side and so now I get the opportunity to build it and grow it and make it bigger than ever and one of our big things that we kind of tell people is that anybody can do this is that's what you talked about if you have a little bit of a fitness background that definitely helps right yeah. and so but we really want to make it accessible and we have a lot of people that come out and compete with us that that's their first time competing mm -hmm. and they get to do it with a friend and it's just there's just nothing like the fitness community we just we really are good at showing up and showing up big for people and it just has been amazing to see how it's grown yeah. over the years awesome. oh, i feel the passion okay. i hear so it what's the website what's the website one more time and i feel like we also do some push-ups yes oh, oh excuse right. me right. come on now guys we'll count them get us oh. the website one more time laura here we go it's casa swmo.org or you can oh. just put in the search bar lift up a child Casa. We're warming up Wrapping for the event, out. guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm done. I'll be back. Yes, we're done. I like I give up. Ah. Terrible.